My name is Susan Bowerman. I'm a registered dietitian and a certified specialist in sports dietetics. I think it's interesting with celebrities and working with the sports people that I've worked with is I think the difference is is that you're thinking about people, for example, if I'm working with a celebrity who's getting ready for a film, you know, these this is their job and they take it very, very seriously. And oftentimes when I'm working again, either with an athlete or working with someone in film, you know, they've in most cases, these people have taken pretty good care of themselves anyway. And so when you see them, you think, well, there isn't that much more to do, but perhaps they need to say lose 10 or 15 pounds for a film, which might put them down even below what their natural weight might be. But they're very, very focused. I mean, this is their job. This is what they're getting paid to do. and. I think in that case, they're, they're certainly much more likely to listen to everything that I say. They need a lot of guidance. It's much different than working with the general community because generally I'm talking about something that's relatively short term, let's say if it's for a film. With sports people, the thing that's really important when you're dealing with athletes is that you're dealing with performance and you have to take that into account. Anything that I say to an athlete, I always have to keep in the back of my mind that what they're most concerned with is how they're going to perform. And that all, the conversation always has to come back to that. So if you start talking to an athlete, for example, about how something might affect their health long term, that's really not important to them at this point in the conversation. What they want to know is, what can I eat to shave a little time off of my run? Or what can I eat that's going to make me perform better in the heat? Or I'm going to go work out in a high altitude. So whatever the particular conditions are, those are the things that I have to stay very, very focused on. And it's oftentimes, it's, it's, it's a short-term thing. With athletes or celebrities, there's a bit of an intensity to it because we've usually got a time frame to work in. There's a certain length of the preseason, let's say, to get somebody in shape for a particular sports event. Or if I'm working with somebody in a movie and they have maybe six weeks until shooting starts, that's our time frame. That's all we have to work with because in the movies, time is money. We can't delay the shoot. Quite a few years ago, I worked as a consultant for the Los Angeles Raiders when they were still playing football in LA. And the way that I got involved was kind of a interesting thing. It's part of who you know. I was working in a doctor's office at the time, and the doctor that I worked with was the team physician for the Raiders. So he just got me involved working with the sports team. The first thing that I did for them before I actually got to meet with the players was I, I got to look at all of the menus that they used when they would go away for games. So we looked at the menus from Friday night through the Sunday pre-game meal. We did some revamping on the menus and once he got comfortable with me doing that then he sort of trusted me to start meeting with the athletes and we started doing that. I worked with the athletes primarily preseason helping them to get in better nutritional shape before the actual football season started. I think it would be a luxury if everybody could see a registered dietitian, and I think all the dietitians in the country would be really happy if everybody felt that they needed to consult with one. I think the good thing is, is that there is so much good nutrition information out there being provided by all kinds of registered dietitians like, like me. So dietitians are they're blogging, they're making videos, they're writing articles, they're doing research. And so there's lots and lots of really good solid nutrition information that people can access and access for free. One of the things that I've enjoyed most about working for Herbalife is their dedication to providing good sound nutrition education. And so I think what's been fun for me is I've had the opportunity to provide information to so many people. You know, I have been in the nutrition field for so long and I still haven't run out of things to say or things to look at. I think some people think nutrition is kind of a static science, you know, we know about vitamins and minerals and proteins and fats, but we just are learning so much more about nutrition all the time. And when you think that nutrition isn't just encompassing food, it's encompassing our behavior, it's encompassing things like how we perceive taste, it encompasses how we decide how much food to put on our plate. There's so much involved that it's just a never-ending process of learning for me and I'm just 
always fascinating and always finding topics to look into more carefully.